Guys, I know you have been worried. Oh. I haven't posted a video in two days, but no need to fear because number school is finally here. And now I am back with another video about yapping because we're going to be yapping about the Kitsune fruit. As I've been gone for the last two days, there was a lot of new teasers and leaks that have been shown by the official owners of Blocks Fruit, such as Rip Indra and My Game 43. If you missed out on the first video where I yapped about the Kitsune fruit, I recommend checking that video after this one is over because that's all old stuff. Let's talk about the new stuff that's new, fresh, and important. So in order to find the new stuff I'm about to show you, huh? believe it or not, it's not on the official Bloxford's Twitter. Here is the official Bloxford's Twitter. If you look, they didn't post anything new. They just actually reposted something from Rip Indra's official Twitter. So if we go ahead and check out his page, there was a lot of things he posted. We've already seen these two in the last video, but if we scroll up just a little bit, there is a brand new leak, which I did not mention in the last video. There is three tails in this picture, and there is a bar like I mentioned. If you watched my last video, I talked about this fury meter right here on the right side. I call it the furry meter. Basically, I had a feeling that the Kitsune fruit was gonna be like this type of thing. You have a bar here that charges up. In that picture, it showed three tails. Now, keep in mind, a real Kitsune does not have only three tails. So those tails are gonna be putting a very important role while using the fruit. But looking back at this picture, this picture here works completely different from just like any other fruit. I can't tell if it's charging up or if it's powering down. It's really hard to tell. But there is a big possibility it's not gonna only be three tails. If we take a look at some research here and we type in how many tails does a Kitsune Kitsune have, a Kitsune can have as many as nine tails, which means it's gonna be having more strength. To be honest, I believe that Kitsune Fruit's only gonna allow you to access three tails while in human transformation mode. There's gonna be a V ability that transforms you into the actual Kitsune Fox itself. Huh? Which brings me to my next thing. If we scroll up past the three tails, Indra posted a picture of himself holding the Kitsune Fruit asking, who wants one? Well, we already know that Mr. Kit Gaming himself was promised a Kitsune Fruit and he dropped a video on him holding it and using it. Actually, not really using it. He held it, but he was not allowed to eat it. They teased Mr. Kit Gaming by letting him hold the fruit, but not using it, which is cool, but kind of sucks at the same time because it'd be really cool to see the abilities. But scrolling up a little bit more, this is the official model for the Kitsune Fox. If you remember my last video, this was blanked out. You were not able to see the actual model, but from this picture alone, this looks like a straight up render straight out of Roblox. Like this is exactly what we're probably getting in game. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest here. Huh? Every detail down to the T looks like it's going to be the exact model in the game. No question about it. And if you have eyes and you can see and know how to count more than three, you would see these tails obviously have more than three. There's one in the back here, two right here, three, four, and five. We're missing about four more tails, but it could just be behind all these other tails in the background. Or there's only five tails on this Kitsune. Keep in mind, Kitsunes do not need nine tails. That just shows the strength in their age. I'm assuming the more tails, the more stronger the Kitsune. And of course, if you watched any type of anime, especially Naruto, you pretty much already know everything I am saying to you right now. And you're probably wondering, why is this guy yapping on about tails? But that's okay because we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and go to the next teaser Mr. Indra posted himself here. He went ahead and tweeted 13 hours ago of recording this video. I can't wait to show everybody what we've been cooking up. The Kitsune is by far the most effort we've put in Blocks for its release. We're almost done polishing it. Here's a quick preview of its signature move, Foxfire Disruption, also known as Tailed Beast Bomb. Wait a second. Hold on. Did I read that correctly? Foxfire Disruption right here. Hold on, boys. I gotta pull this up from the last video. Do you guys remember this? This picture right here was a fan-made project. This was not official at all, but it looked real. So if that's true, look at the C ability right there. It says Foxfire of Disruption. I don't know if that's actually going to be in the game as the C ability, unless they're going to change it around, but that ability is real. So whoever made this is insane. I don't know if they're working with the Blocks Roots team or if they just magically guessed the right name perfectly. I don't know. That sounds too crazy to be true. So I'm going to believe this poster right here is pretty accurate now after getting confirmed by Mr. Rip Indra himself. That was a huge turning point I did not expect. So if that C ability is true like Mr. Indra just said in that title right there, that might make this the second most expensive fruit in Blocks Fruits right behind Leopard. Leopard would only cost 500,000 more, which means this Kitsune fruit could possibly be just as strong as Leopard, huh? if not even stronger. It doesn't matter how much it costs, but if it's costing that much, it has to be good, right? But now let's take a look at the picture I never zoomed in on. Right here, we can see this ability looks really cool. He's got three tails on. As you can see, Mr. Indra hid the ability list here. He cropped out everything and he only showed us the abilities. As you can see, just the visuals alone, they look really good. And if we take a look at the comments, Mr. Kit Gaming's asking, I wonder how much it would cost. Taking a wild guess, I'm gonna have to say it's probably gonna be this cost. I don't know. I, I have. I feel like I have to believe this poster now. We don't have enough information to confirm anything about the tails, but from the looks of it, I believe you're probably gonna be limited to like three to maybe 
maybe five tails in human form or something like that. And then once you transform, you unlock the rest of the tails, which means you're probably going to be dealing a lot more damage and have a lot of other abilities transformed. But with all the teasers and leaks we've collected from Indra himself and the secret poster that some fan or somebody made, credits to them, that was insane. That, that I don't know how they predicted that, but that's crazy. The release date for the Kitsune fruit is still unknown, but from everything we have, like I said, I'm taking a guess and saying it's probably going to come out within this week. Huh? And that last post Indra said they were just polishing it, so there's really nothing left to do. If they're polishing it, that means they have all the abilities done, they have all the visuals done, everything's good to go. They're just adding the final touches. But before I want to close off this video, I want to talk about the different types of mechanics that the Kitsune fruit might have. So as I mentioned earlier, I had the dragon fruit equipped right here, and then I went ahead and talked about the fury meter right here. Basically, I wonder how the Kitsune is going to work. There's a few different meters in this game. So the dragon fruit has one, and there's like other fruits such as like the spirit fruit, which has a meter as well. If we go ahead and look at that, it has like a green bar that kind of ticks each time. I don't think the Kitsune fruit is going to have anything like this, but if we go take a look at something else like the venom fruit, this is a different type of meter. This one starts from nothing, and to charge it up, you have to deal damage to NPCs or players, which could be a possibility of how like the Kitsune fruit to unlock the rest of the tails, you have to deal damage or something like that to transform. Right now, I cannot transform. It says you must have max fury to transform. So if we go ahead and do like the Z ability right here, our fury meter goes up just by little by little. And of course, it goes up a lot faster when you damage players instead of NPCs. The shadow fruit is not a beast fruit, but it also has a meter that beast fruits have. Not all beast fruits have meters, but just the few I mentioned. The umbra meter is the same thing. You deal damage and that's the only way to charge it. So as you can see, you land abilities and it goes up little by little. Same thing with the shade nest right here. It only goes up if you deal damage. If you don't deal damage, it doesn't move at all. But as the more it charges, the more damage your ultimate abilities do and all that stuff. So look, if we go ahead and use our V ability, we have a giant circle around us. Now let's say we want to use it without charging up our meter. The cloud is huge, but if we do it without charging up the meter, the V ability should be a lot smaller and a lot less stronger. I'm assuming you could probably deal damage with the Katsune abilities and stuff like that, but the less tails and less things you have, the less the damage and smaller the explosions or whatever it's going to do. These are just some thoughts I have in the back of my head. Let me know what do you guys think. Go ahead and drop some comments about predicting what the Katsune fruit's going to be like. But let me tell you the last thing. Make sure you have some robux for this fruit if you can't roll it and get it in game without spending bobux remember i believe it costs about 3,000 robux to buy the leopard fruit and as we can see here yes it is 3,000 robux to buy the leopard fruit taking a wild guess because it's a 5 million cost fruit if the kitsune is only 500,000 cheaper i'm guessing the kitsune is going to be about 2950 robux so 2950 which is a lot of money but it could be worth it or you could trade up to it who knows maybe if i have enough robux i could go ahead and start gifting them out left and right but that's all I have about my yapping session today and all my thoughts. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more yapping, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And don't forget, click on one of these videos on screen. YouTube's telling me you might like it.